Hello everyone, welcome to the So Much Tech channel. The top Samsung phone provides all the features, screen size, and performance you desire at an affordable price. It would be oversimplified to claim that the Galaxy S24 Ultra, a $1,300 model that excels in both price and functionality, is the best Samsung phone overall. The phone is excellent, however, suggesting that it is the priciest option is overly simplistic and disregards its real worth. In today's video, we will break down the top 5 best Samsung phones you can buy this year, based on online reviews, product quality, and price. For more information on the product, I have included links in the description down below. So let's get started. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Paying a high price should guarantee you the best phone, right? Well, that's not always the case. If you want confirmation, just look at the Galaxy S24 Plus. With improved hardware, reimagined software, and all the outstanding features of the Galaxy S23 Plus, the mid-range S24 model is a top Android phone. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for the Galaxy, with certain tweaks made expressly for Samsung, is at the heart of what US purchasers get. The Exynos 24 O4 assumes the role of worldwide models, equipped with up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM. Both variants provide more than enough power for apps and games. Up front, you'll see the other significant improvement. Displaying 120 Hz, the Galaxy S24 Plus boasts a 6.7-inch screen. It's almost as big as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, yet it's still manageable for people with smaller hands. To make the phone even more budget-friendly than its predecessor, Samsung has considerably reduced the size of the bezels. We also appreciate the Galaxy S24 Plus's improved battery capacity of 4,900 mAh. The Plus should have plenty of runtime between charges because it's slightly smaller than the Ultra model. We haven't altered the charging pace, but 45 watts should be adequate for most users. Samsung's camera technology is another selling point, although if you're looking for an upgrade from the previous model, you'll have to search quite hard. We didn't anticipate anything less than the Galaxy S23 Plus's 50 megapixels wide, 12 megapixels ultra wide, and 10 megapixels telephoto zoom cameras, so we're not surprised to see them all again. Samsung is incorporating into the backpack two intriguing AI power powered capture tools, a smart color adjustment system, and increased low light performance. Among the other advantages is Samsung's recent emphasis on software support. New One UI builds will be available on the Galaxy S24 Plus for the next seven years, thanks to an Android update pledge. Keep in mind that this is standard across all Galaxy S24 models, so you shouldn't base your purchase decision on this alone. Price should be the Galaxy S24 Plus's selling point since it's unchanged. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy A54 5G The Galaxy A54 5G is quickly becoming one of my favorite budget Samsung phones. Considering it costs slightly more than half as much as the top choice, the Galaxy A54 is an excellent buy. You might not mind that it isn't flagship level, especially considering the enhanced performance and nearly flagship level design. To begin with the optics, it shares a three-camera arrangement with its flagship siblings. When compared to previous Samsung phones, this one has significantly more subdued color saturation, which absolutely blew me away. Samsung has kept the macro camera and removed the telephoto from the previous Galaxy A53, which is a little disappointing. A brilliant, sharp, and lightning-fast 120Hz AMOLED display graces the front of the A54 5G. With its rounded edges, even bezels, and excellent color accuracy, it mimics the premium Galaxy S23 and S24 series. Although the bezels are thicker than average because of the lower price point, they become almost imperceptible with time. Additionally, it is an impressive battery beast. It comes with a powerful 5000 mAh battery. It takes a little under 1.5 hours to fully charge using the 25 watts wired power option. Regrettably, the package does not include the charger. If you don't have one, buy a matching charger. The only thing I could possibly find fault with is the performance. While the Exynos 1380 handles social networking and video streaming without a hitch, it falls short of competing with mid-range processors. For instance, the Pixel 7a, an Android competitor, houses the Tensor G2 chip, while Apple's more understated iPhone SE 2022 features its top Bionic A15 chipset. 
Nonetheless, if you're not a heavy mobile gamer or intend to use your phone for video editing, this is a reasonable compromise to achieve better battery life at a cheaper price. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy A35 5G I would recommend the Galaxy A35 5G above the SNZ series if you are seeking value for your money. Among all the sub $400 phones, the Galaxy A35 5G stands out for three main reasons. A triple camera array with a 50 megapixels primary sensor, a powerful 5000 mAh battery, and an impressive 6.6-inch .6 AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate are all yours for the asking price. Even if your mobile phone choices don't fall into Samsung's predetermined categories, I'm still confident that the Galaxy A35 5G will satisfy your demands. The most recent version, which is an upgrade from the previous A34 5G, has a glass back, a faster Exynos chipset, and a better camera system. A 35 5G users on Reddit tend to think that the phone's battery life is a plus. One big advantage over competing phones is that Samsung guarantees software and security upgrades for the A series smartphones for five years. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra Most users may not like this, but it's the most powerful Samsung smartphone. For heavy users who desire all the features of a smartphone except a foldable screen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is an excellent choice. The Ultra is larger and more expensive than the Galaxy S24 Plus, but it has the same basic experience. For starters, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Samsung Galaxy SoC powers all models, regardless of whether you're purchasing it in the US or abroad. Thankfully, Samsung has replaced the outdated 8GB RAM configuration with an all 12GB lineup available with 256GB, 512GB or 1TB of internal storage. There are a total of 5 cameras on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, a 200MP primary, a 12MP ultra-wide, and two telephoto lenses, one with 50 megapixels and 5x zoom and the other with 10 megapixels and 3x zoom, make up the back four. Just like the last Ultra, this one has a 12 megapixel selfie camera up front. Will people be disappointed that Samsung removed the 10x zoom camera from the Galaxy S23 Ultra? I'm uncertain. Still, there are enough other features to keep you entertained, including the S Pen's dedicated slot, the large 5000 mAh battery, and the now flat 6.8 inch AMOLED screen. For individuals who are wary of making frequent upgrades, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is a more cautious purchase thanks to Samsung's substantial 7 year update. Even though it's $100 more expensive than last year, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is still a fantastic Android phone. Maybe the best, depending on your budget. Number 5. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 Samsung now sells two foldable phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Galaxy Z Flip 5. In my opinion, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the superior foldable phone from Samsung over the Galaxy Z Flip 5. The former boasts a more flexible and practical tablet hybrid design, while the latter is more compact and less usable. Even when folded, the Z Fold 5's 6.2-inch outside panel provides all the essentials of a regular phone screen, including a smooth 120Hz display. Transforming into a portable tablet, the phone's 7.6-inch display and smooth 120Hz operation are all yours when you unfold it. According to these features, the Z Fold 5 is $800 more expensive than the Z Flip 5. The clamshell-style Z Flip 5, on the other hand, has an outside display of 3.4 inches and serves primarily as a notification screen, viewfinder for the primary cameras, music controller, and message writer. It starts at $1,000. When you open the Z Flip 5, the 6.7-inch screen is typical, and it's a pain to open every time you need to do anything useful with it. However, Samsung may now upgrade its artificial intelligence capabilities to both the Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5 after introducing them with the S24 series this year. So that's it for the best Samsung phones of this year. Like, comment, and subscribe to receive notifications of our latest videos.